scanners are going to be doing overnight. We've got round the clock coverage. Guys, safe place to ride out the storm. And we may have technical issues. Remember, this is almost a Category 5. It's going to be, uh, it's not going to want to work with technology the best we can, but we're going to get the reports out there as we can. Things are going to change so quickly. Thankfully, this is a fast-moving system, but with that comes drastic changes. So you may be at your home monitoring the situation, thinking, okay, we, we got some, you know, we're okay at the moment, and we can get through five, six hours, but don't underestimate this, guys. It's really going to be a heartache for so many, and uh, waking up tomorrow morning is just going to be a, a sad, sad tragedy here in southwestern Louisiana, eastern Texas, and then working in towards the state uh, of Louisiana, even Arkansas. So we talked about winds. They can get over 120. I mean, the storm is measuring wind gusts now at still over 150 miles per hour. That's strong Category 4. And those are sustained winds at times that could be destructive for minutes. It's not going to be like, you know, a th it's be a thunderstorm where it just briefly comes in. For people who have never ridden a hurricane out, it's long and it is scary. And it's all happening late tonight. So you're going to hear noises like you have no idea what's going on. And you're not going to be able to go check it out. And you've got to be safe. you got to treat this like a tornado warning. That's the best way to describe it. So you want to be in your home, lowest level. If you've got multiple stories, get down to the lowest level. But... If there's water, you gotta go up, okay? You gotta avoid the water. So you gotta run from the water, but you gotta hide from the wind. And that's why we always say evacuate when you can. Too late to evacuate now. Bridges are closing all over the place in the north central Gulf Coast. Thankfully, from officials uh, who have been out the last few hours, they have said essentially the roads are literally free from traffic. And there's not any cars really out and about right now, and that is good news. And even officials now are hunkering down and getting to their spot, even our security officer. Uh, we say him home, he's gotta to get to safety uh, and be with his family. So that's what we're looking at here across the board. Um, again, monitoring the radar. There we go, Cameron lost power. We caught it uh, you know, about 30 minutes ago as that band came in, and we're gonna expect those power outages to mount exponentially in the coming hours, okay? So current time right now, about 9.02 p.m. this evening, winds picking up over 30 miles per hour sustained, gusting closer to 40, maybe even a little bit stronger, maybe even a little bit stronger. And we're going to get much higher gusts in the mere minutes here as that band starts to roll in here to Lake Charles. Of course, monitoring the storm surge, too. We're keeping our eye on the water in this direction. Still no real change. And remember, too, at least at this point, the winds have been coming from the north and the east. For the most part, Lake Charles, that will be changing as we see this continue to move northward and northwestward. So that will shift our winds from the more southeasterly and eventually southwesterly as we get closer to the high core. Once that happens, it's going to be near high tide, and we're going to be having the strongest winds. So that water is going to rise so quickly, guys. It happens in seconds. It happens in seconds. And that's what kills. And that's what we're most fearful of. We're already seeing roads covered farther south towards the coast, towards Holly Beach and Cameron. Um, latest gauge, at least at last check, was over three foot, three feet of water rise, okay? And we're seeing that in Vermilion Bay and areas well to the east, even hundreds of miles away, south of New Orleans. They've seen a water, water level rise as well. And storm surge tonight is going to be catastrophic and will likely, in places, beat out what we saw with Hurricane Rita. Guys, tragedy unfolding here. And it's really sombering it's just being in Lake Charles all day, beautiful city, um, all, all communities here um, and, that are going to be looking so different by the time the sun comes out again tomorrow. And it's hard to think about that. We've got a long night ahead, Dr. Knapp. Looking at the radar right now, you have the, pretty much the whole oh storm in excess uh, from the Lake Charles radar. We can see a uh, well-defined eye wall, that north and northwest side just really bearing those dark, deep reds. That's where you have those Cat 4 even borderline Cat 5 uh, hurricane force winds. Looking at the radar, what are you looking at now as we go into the next few hours? And who's expecting the worst of the weather to go downhill from here? Yeah, well, it looks like the center of circulation is about 60 miles from the coastline. It's moving north-northwest at about 15, so we're about four hours away from the center crossing the coastline, but it's likely that northeastern eye wall that has the strongest winds. So that's where you would likely find 
uh, those Cat 4 winds uh, might not be quite that strong on the west side, but might be close. But it, the strongest winds and the worst onshore push in the storm surge are going to be on the right-hand side. That's where we're going to maximize these values. Now, in terms of timing, uh, you know, this is the updated position from the Hurricane Center. Uh, you know, they're showing it still moving north-northwest at 15 miles an hour, and their advisory that came out back at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 Central, had landfall of the center at about 2 a.m. Eastern, 1 Central. It appears to be on track uh, rel relatively close to that timing. You know, we can't pinpoint it, but it looks like we're about four hours away from landfall of the center. But it is so important to emphasize that this is not just a point on the map. The tropical storm force winds are already coming ashore. We're already getting water rises on the coast. We've already had tornado warnings over in eastern Louisiana. We have uh, a lot more to go before the worst comes ashore. And then uh, you have the backside of the hurricane. So th this is going to be an hours long event. And it's moving 15 miles an hour. Now that's not stalled. It's not super slow, but it's not super fast either. It has slowed down compared to when it was over the uh, western portions of the Caribbean. So again, here's the radar. So again, the strongest winds are probably over in here, in that eye wall. There's actually a tornado warning here on the coast. I hope nobody's there to have to take